This tip is for your front pose and it's to help you get your upper body and lower body in the best positioning so that you're getting the ringing effect of showcasing your glute in the front pose and pulling your shoulders around. So one thing I notice is the pelvis can start to gravitate towards the judges and you actually start squaring up in your front pose. You notice the belly button is not turned away and we're not getting the full effect of the hourglass. So an easy cue that I use is to think about tucking this hip backwards because it pulls my belly button away from the judges and then I only have to worry about pushing my shoulders or rotating my upper body towards them. So it's a pushing and pulling effect. So pulling of the hip back, pushing of the upper body forward, and it allows me to get my belly button in the right positioning and get the best out of my hourglass frame. This cue is to help you with posture in your mandatory front and back poses. So a lot of times we hear the cue of standing up nice and tall, but sometimes we shrug our shoulders up because we're trying to elongate our torso when really we just need to think about lifting our chest up towards the ceiling. So I like to use a cue of a pendant on a necklace and that's what you're actually lifting up towards the ceiling. So my shoulders should stay down and relaxed and I should be thinking about this pendant on my chest lifting up towards the ceiling. It helps me keep my torso nice and elongated without shrugging. You can also use it in the back pose. So when I'm hitting my back pose, I'm thinking about arching my low back, but I'm not neglecting the curvature of my thoracic and upper spine. So same thing, pendant on my chest, and I'm thinking about lifting that up towards the ceiling. It allows me to bring my shoulders back as well. So think about that pendant on your chest through all your mandatories and lifting it up towards the ceiling to stay nice and tall in your posture. This cue is to help with your pelvic positioning in the signature pose. So a lot of times we're doing an anterior pelvic tilt. We're trying to get as much shape out of our S curve as possible. And we'll see that there's some bowing in the lower abdomen as we're putting our pelvis in that position. So yes, we wanna work on controlling our core to pull it in nice and tight. And one cue that helps me get my core nice and activated is thinking about squeezing this back glute. I don't do it a ton, but I do a small activation and it helps me pull my abdomen in towards my spine. Almost like when you're doing a hip thrust and you're bracing your core and working your glutes at the same time. There's a, a correlation and a connection. So if I'm in my signature pose and I'm seeing some bowing in my abdomen, I'm leaning a little bit too far forward. I think about engaging this glute and it will help me tighten up my abdomen and really sit into a beautiful signature pose. Here's a tip to be able to get the most out of your rear delts in your back pose. So to be able to do this, you need to have a good command of your shoulder blades. If you can raise them, depress them, you can pinch your shoulder blades together, spread them apart, and you can rotate them. Co good command of this joint is gonna help you make this possible in the back pose. So a lot of times we're really focused on arching our low back. We want everyone to see these hand tie-ins and our upper body can fall forward in an effort to do this. So to make sure that we're emphasizing the top of our hourglass as much as possible and we're showing all that rear delt shape that we've been working so hard in the gym we need to remember that what comes towards the judges is going to appear bigger and what is away is going to be smaller so if i'm just focused on my low back arch my upper body is shifted forward and i can appear super narrow in the back but if i focus on taking my shoulder blades and sliding them down my back, I can actually pull my shoulders towards the judges. 
So here, I'm sliding my shoulder blades down. So I am focusing on lifting up my chest and arching my upper back as well, but it's coming from the shoulder blade movement that's allowing me to get into this position. And then it allows me to bring my shoulders back further towards the judges. Now the thing you don't wanna do is pinch because if you pinch now, I've really narrowed my upper body. So you wanna be able to keep your shoulder blades spread apart, but to press down towards your pelvis. So again, here is with the low back arch and just no intentionality with my scapula. Here I'm bringing my scapula down and I'm thinking about spreading my scapula apart. So I'm going down and out and it's allowing me to showcase my rear delts as much as possible. 